wrong with my camera? <laughs> I don't know why I just feel like making a video. <laughs> God, that is so old. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Number 14. <laughs> Dude, I posted something, uh, what was it, a couple days ago? It was yesterday. <laughs> About the coronavirus. <laughs> it was yesterday. That's the problem with the coronavirus. Time does not exist, dude. <laughs> like, physical time no longer exists. That's really cool. It's like a... Kind of like a World War II, uh... Kind of plane right there. <laughs> yeah, like... Uh, what was it, two weeks ago? <laughs> Me and my mom were in Home Depot. And since the coronavirus happened, like, we're going to Home Depot way too much. <laughs> and it was, like, Thursday or something. And I'm looking around in the gardening section, and, I'm, and I say, how many times have we been to Home Depot this week? It's just like, I don't even know. I'm like, I think we've been here three times since Monday. And it was Thursday. <laughs> like, we vented it. We were at Home Depot three times in four days. Oh my gosh. I was going to say God, but I'm not going to do that. Because um, that's not cool. Say, oh my God. That's like sacrilege, dude. You said that in the 1600s and you were in Spain being the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> I don't even know when that was. I don't think anybody knows when the Spanish Inquisition was. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, you always... No, you, you never hear about it in, in high school or any history ever. People never talk about the Spanish Inquisition. Like, when did it happen? <laughs> like, nobody knows. <laughs> Like, they don't teach it in middle school. They don't teach it in elementary school. They don't teach it in high school. And they might teach it in college if you take the, the right college class. And if you don't go to college, you will never hear about the Spanish Inquisition. Like, I don't even know what it was about. <laughs> like, a bunch of people were not cool with the Catholics, so the Catholics just massacred these people and put them in chains. I don't even know what it was about. If you do watch this video, which you probably don't because I only have like four people watch my videos. <laughs> and you know <laughs> what years the Spanish Inquisition happened. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. Nobody ever comments on your videos. I did get one <laughs> It's just like, hey, want to be friends or like, what up? Like, that's it, man. Like, <laughs> you know, I think these videos are pretty cool. I don't know, man. Like, life has so much to offer us. And I think I've done so much research on how to live life properly. Like spiritually and psychologically, I guess you could say. It's raining outside my window. It's so weird. It's like this... It's like a sun shower. It's a sun shower. This, here, I'll show you. Hold on. So cool. Yeah, it's like the sun is out. See the sun? And then there's raindrops. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's raining. I don't know if you can see the rain. But the sun's out. You can see the sun on my plant. And then there's like rain. I don't know. Maybe you couldn't see it. Maybe you could. Anyways, who cares? <clears throat> who cares, man? Who cares? Okay. So yeah. So that's pretty cool. That never happens. I never really see that. Ooh, I got my fingerprints on the, uh... Yikes. Ah. Oh no, even now the world's even more blurry.
Blurry world! Don't you mess with my blurry world. I won't be too happy about it. So anyways, okay, cool. Back to normal. So yeah, so uh, so yeah, I just I've done a lot of research on spirituality and psychology. So I make these videos, and I don't know. I don't really know if I do them for other people or if I do them for myself because I really enjoy doing them. <laughs> I sit by my window, and I love looking out of my window. And by doing these videos, it's pretty much the only time I give myself this time to actually do this. Because I'm always doing things. Eckhart Tolle, he would be so upset with me. But I could, I never just can look out of, out of a window for 20 minutes. I just can't do it. Like, I'll look out of a window for like four minutes. Maybe, not even, like two minutes maybe. And I'll be like, cool. I have to go wash my rice cooker, or I have to go get ready to go work out, you know, like I could, I don't know man, like I just like doing things, I guess you could say, and I like being outside a lot, so I try to just get all this stuff done so I can get out of here, go outside, have fun, you know, so giving myself this 10 minutes to actually film these videos or 12 minutes or however long they are is actually cool because I get to do something I love like looking out at nature and I actually get to entertain myself because I really love just riffing and talking about stuff and people can watch it which is cool uh, somebody left me like the greatest compliment ever in the comment section it was so cool they said uh they said that they they love the content of these videos exclamation point happy face or something like that and it was the one I filmed yesterday it was about the coronavirus and I was like dude that's so cool like somebody like said that they really enjoy the content of my video so cool so so yeah, so like I thought that was so cool. So if you're watching this one, Matt props to you, dude. That was righteous. It was the only comment comment I got on the video. I pretty much averaged one comment. And I'm not <laughs> And I totally shouldn't be that person that's just like, oh, did I get any comments on my videos? Like why are we like that now as a species? <laughs> it's so weird. And I try not to be that person, but I still like seeing if I got a compliment and comment on my video or compliment on my video, you know, so I can write back and be like, hey man, thanks, that was so cool, you know? But I think as humans, we've become so accustomed to cell phone things like that. Like we geek out on things like that. Like, did I get any likes or, it's so weird. And, you know, Brene Brown talked to Oprah about it, and Brene Brown, Brown said it was the, we've, we've, we've grown to be in a fear-based society after 9-11 or times before that or whatever, man. She said 9-11, but it was probably before that. <clears throat> uh, well, I don't know. Who knows, man, right? And uh, she said that now we're like a fear-based society that, you know, doesn't believe it's enough or something like that. You'd have to watch the Oprah interview with her. I think it was like her and Oprah, Super Soul Sunday 1 or Super Soul Sunday 2. Her and Oprah did one. I mean, they've done them three. Uh, and Brene Brown's done a lot of other things on Oprah uh, or with Oprah. But she, she I don't know. Who knows what the theory is? It's deep. But she pretty much says that the reason why we are obsessed with likes and stuff like that is because we feel like we're not enough. And I get that. But I think it's also a lot out of habit or behavior of the culture. Like, for me, it's like... 
I don't know. Maybe it's a habit because I started when I thought I wasn't good enough or something like that. And the more and more I feel like I'm good enough, the more and more I don't care about likes and, and stuff like that. Who knows? It's so bizarre. I made the weirdest face there. <laughs> but it's so bizarre, right? It's like, why? Yeah, like, how did we get to that stage where we care about whether we get likes or not, or care about if people comment in, in a positive way in our video? Why are we like that, and how did we get like that? It's so strange. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it's really bizarre. I mean, if you really think about it, <laughs> and if you're high and you're watching this video, you could really get into it. <laughs> Joking. I don't promote drugs or de demo drugs. That's what Dave Matthews said. I was trying to figure it out in the last video in Fighting Love Depression 13. And in Fighting Off Depression 14, I gave you the answer from yesterday's video. And nobody watches these videos anyway, so I'm not even going to be serious anymore. <laughs> I used to try to be so serious in these videos, be like, I'm talking about something important because these are figuring out depressions. But nobody's watching those. <laughs> Who cares what I talk about? It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I've reached the level of my <laughs> I've reached the level in my fame and my popularity where I uh, don't have to actually <laughs> talk about anything that I was supposed to talk about in these videos because nobody's watching. So, which is kind of cool because <laughs> I could just talk about whatever I want. <laughs> of figuring out depression 14 the realization that nobody watches your videos so now you can talk about other things other than depression and figuring out depression so cool I'm so popular and famous but that should matter if you're based on society for neighbor <laughs> okay so the moral of this video and the you know the way to cap off the video <laughs> the reason why I made this video is so I could find out the answer to uh, what Dave Matthews said in my last video. <laughs> and to find out when this managing position was, if anybody does watch this video, which they most likely won't. And you do know when the Spanish Inquisition was. <laughs> From what year to what year? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Funny go up the pressure 14 for nobody. Because <laughs> nobody's watching. Alright guys, have a good day. Peace. Later. <laughs>